is a quick two-minute tutorial on using the Microl syringe driver. To insert the batteries, open the battery compartment. Prepare the six AAA batteries for the device. Then ensure you insert the batteries the correct way. You will then need to close the battery compartment. The pump is then ready to be configured for its intended use. Fully charged batteries should last about 30 hours. Remove the syringe in place. Then press the plunger down to move the driver back. Insert the syringe collar into the head of the driver. The collar of the syringe should sit within the groove on the device. And the plunger of the syringe in the groove of the drive plunger. Secure the syringe with the securing strap. Ensure the syringe collar is in the correct position on the body. The syringe plunger should also sit in the driver's groove. The pump only has three buttons. Down, up and enter. To turn the pump on, hold both the up and down buttons together for 3 seconds. Syringe settings will default to the last used syringe. Simply select syringe brand, size and flow rate. Press enter to confirm if the syringe is the same size and brand as before. Change the syringe brand by pressing the up arrow. If needed, settings can be locked to use only one manufacturer syringe brand and size through the configuration menu. Change the syringe size after you have selected the syringe brand. Then you can change the flow rate for mils per hour. Finally press and hold the enter button until cal appears. Syringe selection and flow rate appear alternating on the screen. While the pump is infusing, a bolus dose can be administered. Press and hold the enter button then press the up arrow once. A D appears on the screen with the dose of the bolus to be infused. The bolus is being delivered and its dose is displayed. To stop infusion and switch off the device, press and hold both the up and down arrows. For more information on the device, check the website.